Hello, it's Selene here with Swanky Mountain and in my pursuit of connecting you with amazing projects, yarn, and goodies, I am, and with my obsession of hats here lately, I am here to share with you uh, two of my favorite hats that I've made this year and some kits that I've made up here at Swinky Mountain that you can purchase for your own hat projects. So if you are interested in purchasing them, then you can comment below or send me a message and I will hook you up that way. Outside of that, let's get down to business. I don't know, in my head, there's like theme music playing now. I don't have actual theme music, but in my head it's playing right now. Let's, so these are the two hats. Aren't they fun and lovely? And I would say, even for an adventurous, adventurous beginner, these are both very doable. This is the Modish Mosaic Crochet Hat, and this is the Mindful Beanie, which is knit. Um, I made both of them in like a weekend. The crochet one took me a little bit longer because I am not as proficient of a crocheter as I am a knitter, but super fabulous. Both patterns also included, um, let's see, the mosaic beat. So the crochet one included multiple sizes, which you could also translate to using different sized yarn. Um, and the mindfulness beanie did include different sized yarns. So this one's a little snugger, but I don't mind that so much, especially, I mean, today I'm having great hair day, but especially on a bad hair day. Okay, so let's talk about these kits that I have. All of these kits I kitted together with yarn I have personally used. So I can tell you, um, well, maybe not these specific colors, but like the brand and the make and the base. So I can tell you with confidence that all of these yarns are super fun to work with and have different amazing things about them. So I'm gonna start on this side and work my way this way. The first one, I have this modish mosaic hat. Each of these kits include the two skeins of yarn needed to make it, the pattern, and a stitch marker that were custom made for us by a local maker in Rosette. The crochet ones are, the crochet markers have, they open. So they have the clips that open and close. And the knit ones are a nice round one. So, and they're snowflakes. Aren't they cute? And then for a limited time, the kits are 10% off. So today is December 4th, 5th, December 4th, 2023. So if you are interested in um, purchasing a kit, but it's, let's see these, I probably will have them on sale until they are gone. But um, if you're interested in purchasing one and I don't happen to have the specific one or not quite the colors you want, I'm happy to customize, right? Like that's part of what I'm here for. It's part of my biggest core value and passion is connecting. So I, one of my favorite ways to connect with you as makers is to help you create customized projects that are exactly your hopes and dreams. So let me help you. All right, so first kit, modish mosaic hat with a skein of Wonderland mince pie and Falkland worsted rouge. So, and I think you could go either way with the colors, but I think that this would be a really fun combo. Here's what I found. Oh yes, Siri, we know. And I know it looks like I'm throwing those on the floor. I have a bucket so I can get them re-put out. This is the Mindful Beanie. I chose all chunky options for my kids for the Mindful Beanie. That's what, how I knit mine. I just feel like it's a great 
stash buster that way or a great way like chunky yarn just works up super fast so here we have some sundance peak from mountain meadow wool along with some falkland chunky the falkland chunky in particular in this color is like butter so soft while the Sundance is a little bit more rustic-y, which I think is part of what I love about this combo so much is the texture. I would use the blue as the first color, so the brim and the color that creates the stripes in the pattern, and the white as the secondary color in this particular instance, and I think it would turn out amazing. And that's the mindfulness beanie, by the way. We have another crochet option here made with two different kinds of Malabrigio worsted. One is Dark Earth and the other is Rosalinda. If you have not worked with this yarn before, it is heavenly. It is a single ply worsted weight yarn, so soft. It's, if you are a slippery, oh, this is crochet, but, <laughs> I was going to say, if you're a slippery knitter, you might want to consider wood or copper needles because <laughs> when I knit with this yarn, I just go, 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 and then it just can slide right off on me if I'm not paying attention. So soft. Next up, another crochet kit, this time with both Falkland worsted colors in a really lovely, um, this color is called Sea Spray, and this color is called Pacific. If you live local to Gillette, Wyoming, these colors to me scream Thunder Basin. Um, and I do have like more of a silvery one if you want more of a silver option. But to me, I feel like this would be the perfect hat for moms like me that are spending um, that those kind of seasonal outdoor sporting events. Next up, a mindfulness beanie with Falkland's Malibec, and then some from the same manufacturer, but a different yarn. This is called Brisbane, and this is called Smooth Toadfish. That name always makes me giggle. This yarn in particular is amazing caked up, super fun color changes in there. And I think that you could really go either way with this set in terms of which color you start with and which one does like the background but I think this could be super duper fun. Next up, we have another mindful beanie in Wyoming colors. I mean, who doesn't love? Well, <laughs> well, I mean, I live in Wyoming, so Wyoming University is a big deal around here, but this brown is called clove, which I love cloves. Do you love cloves? And this, fun yellow gold color is called the crown. So very much UW colors. If nothing else, somebody should come grab this set to make any UW inspired item. Um, next up, we have another mindfulness beanie, mindful beanie with this time using the Falkland Pacific, and then in the Mountain Meadow Wool Silverberry. Noah has made up a hat using this Silverberry, and it is really, really lovely. It's one of our favorite yarns around here. And last but not least, in a Modish Mosaic, we have a Madeline Tosh in Pelican, which is a really fun silver, and Wool and Palette in Tangerine. This particular set, I would say, is like the BMW set out of all of these kits. Um, if you've never worked with Madeline Tosh before, their hand dyeing is phenomenal, and their base is super luxurious. And this Wool and Palette is a 100% wool that is milled here in the US and then she hand dyes these skeins using natural elements from her backyard. So cannot get more US than one of these skeins of wool and palette. 
Um, and I partnered these together for the modish mosaic beanie. So, I hope you didn't make a drinking game out of me saying so, because I feel like I said it a lot today, but I hope that you, I hope this video inspires you to cast on a hat because whether you're knitting it or crocheting it or one of each, these kits are one, fabulous because they're 10% off right now. Two, the color combos are fire. And three, all the thought is done. The only decision you have to do is to say yes to yourself and come and get one because, or purchase one and have me mail it to you because who doesn't need another hat? There's no such thing as too many hats, especially when you live in a colder climate. Yeah. Or just really like them for style purposes. That would be me. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please comment and like and subscribe. Do all those things that all those YouTubers ask you to do all the time. Please share it with other people in your universe that you think might enjoy it. And please, please, please consider supporting my local yarn shop in Gillette, Wyoming, whether you are local or not. Please, please, please consider purchasing something with us to continue to support us and these videos because that's how the world works. And I eat and my kids eat and they have shoes and clothes and things. So yeah, reality. Anyhow, do that. All the kits I showed you today are while they're in stock for purchase in my store and here via this video. Yeah, I think that's it. So until next time, I hope that your day is filled with light and love and yarn.